Recently, I was on a hike with my wife in Brown County State Park in Nashville, Indiana, and we came upon this guy, a timber rattlesnake. I've always heard about these my whole life, but I've never seen one while hiking or camping. I thought it would be interesting to find out a little bit more. So the timber rattlesnake is the most venomous snake in Indiana, but it's also the most misunderstood. The, the timber rattlesnake is the most potent venom snake in Indiana. Uh, but people have uh, a misunderstanding of how it defends itself, and it is uh, sometimes feared for that reason. Well, what is venom anyway? And when, you, when somebody says, oh, it's venomous and poisonous, what's the difference and what is venom? Uh, venom is, uh, simply put, it's uh, a subset of poison, so to speak. So it's a poisonous substance that has to be injected directly into your blood. So okay. that is different from poison, which can be inhaled or ingested. Ah, okay, all right. Even though it is uh, the largest snake by weight in Indiana and it is the most potent venom, uh, rattlesnake bites in the state are extremely rare. Uh, for example, at Brown County State Park, I have snake bite records that go back decades and we do not have any confirmed bites on people from a timber rattlesnake. No kidding, that is great to know. So really, people don't have anything really to fear. There's not much fear, it's just be keep your eyes and ears open. What I like to tell people is uh, the more I learn about venomous snakes in Indiana, like the timber rattlesnake, the more I believe they are something to be aware of, but not something to be afraid of. How does it develop a rattle? What is a rattle on the rattlesnake? The rattle is segments of dried skin. So uh, whenever the snake sheds, it creates a new little segment of rattle, and then it can shake that dried skin to uh, create the noise. Uh, very few animals draw attention to themselves as a defense. Right. Uh, but the snake, when it's rattling, it's saying, I'm right here, you're right there. Hello. And if you come closer, <laughs> it's a problem, but if right. you stay away, everything will be fine. You know, what do people need to know about like pet safety on the trails and when they're hiking and when they're camping? How often would, do you think they would even see a, a timber rattlesnake or a copperhead or another snake in Indiana? The vast majority of people that come to the park will not see a venomous snake. Uh, with that being said, it is very safe uh, to uh, hike and camp here with venomous snakes. Okay. You just want to make sure uh, kids are on the lookout for snakes and know not to touch them if they see them. You also want to keep any pet on a short six foot leash. Okay, and they are protected species. So what do you not do? So you are not allowed to uh, antagonize, harm, or kill uh, a timber rattlesnake. It is a protected species uh, due to low population numbers. Yes, the timber rattlesnake is venomous, but hopefully now you know a little bit more about this really cool creature. And now maybe you can safely navigate the trails better while you're hiking and camping. For Pet Pals TV, I'm Barney Wood.